I'm not streaming on Twitch today. Today I'm on a train, as you can clearly see, and I'm now going to Brentwood, um, Shenfield more specifically, to go to British Hair Clinic to get this sorted. There it is. It was about pushing on the nine hours later, and we are there. I'm ready to leave. I've got to keep this on until tomorrow. But I'm excited. Thank you guys so much. You've been amazing. Okay, so we're on day one of recovery and it's time to take off the back bandage um, to see how that's looking. Uh, this has gone... It looks good. It looks alright. It's not too bad. Um, I didn't know if it would look completely gross, but at the moment it's okay. It just looks a little bit like a red hairline. Um, I'm wearing button shirts because it's recommended that you don't pull off any clothes over your head so I've just got an abundance of button shirts to wear over the next few days. I'm just going to hand the camera over to my lovely girlfriend Ariane and she is going to take off my bandage. I really want to pull it off like a plaster. Please like, do really not. Fast. I'm not going to but it's that temptation and that's it's done. Do you want to spit around a little bit? Keep going, there's tape on the bottom. Yeah, feel something on the back of my head still. There we go. Oh. Lift your head up. Okay, that is day one of the donor area recovery. Okay, so the back area you've just seen isn't as important as the front area. Um, obviously it's important, you need to look after it, but I don't have to be quite as careful. So I've got a list of things I need to do for recovery over the next two weeks. Um, one of them being the way I sleep. So last night I did not have the best night's sleep. You have to sleep quite up. So elevated. pillows, elevated pillows all over your back. Um, and then with a neck pillow on as well. And you're sleeping like this because you can't do anything to the top of your head. I need to avoid touching that pretty much for the next two weeks um, in any capacity. So the back... I can be a bit more rough with um, because there's no hairs that are going to fall out but your hair, you can potentially damage your hairline if you touch it so I just need to give this a clean um, and then on day three I believe I start cleaning the back of it with Savlon and tea tree oil so you get a hot you get given a whole list of things to do um, so it's all straightforward but you just need to stick and do exactly what they tell you to do to a T. I will say one thing antibiotics I'm taking um, just to make sure we don't get any form of infection and also I have a saline spray that I have to spray every two to three hours um, on top of my head and just let it dry there um, to also avoid infection there. I'm on day two of recovery. There's not really much um, that I can show you guys today. Still having to wear um, button shirts which I'll be doing for the next Probably the next week really because you need to avoid touching this at all for that amount of time But the main reason I wanted to come on um, on day two even though there's no changes bar um, The main thing I'm doing at the moment is just making sure I'm spraying my head every two to three hours um, With saline solution which um, British Hair Clinic did give to me You need to sleep in a specific way, you're not allowed to lay on your front You need to be on your back with a neck pillow Also, you might notice that it looks quite high up at the moment um, the swelling has been quite intense um, in the forehead area. It started quite high up and um, it was lumped out at the top there and now it's come down to just above my eyebrows. So I don't know if you'll see it very well on camera, but I've taken some photos as well. So if this doesn't show well, I can put it, I can put some photos up on the screen. But yeah, I've, I've got quite a lot of swelling in the forehead, which will go down and everything will start to look a little bit more normal. This is day three post-op. Um, today was the day that I could start cleaning the donor area, the back of my head. Um, it was Savlon first thing in the morning, uh, which is just a cream you rub on, nice and easy. And then at night, before I go to bed, I'll be using tea tree oil. Um, that's supposed to help with the itching. Last night was the worst night I've had so far. Um, I want to kind of do this as honestly as possible. Still think it's all completely worth it. Um, you can see it's healing really nicely. Um, not really dealing with too much. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Same with the back of the head. I'll put some pictures um, up on here so you can kind of see what they look like. Um, but you can see I'm very swollen in the face here. Um, if you look at me five minutes ago in this video, you'll see I don't really look quite like this. But all the swelling's kind of gone between the eyes at the moment. Um, it was recommended on the sheet that if, if the itching gets bad, I can get some antihistamines. So I've got some Pyroton and I've taken that and I'm not really noticing it, um, anything now. So we're on to day five of recovery now. I said I'd come back today because today was the day that I could wash my hair. Um, kind of wash my hair at least. It felt a little bit weird because the way you actually wash it is the same way you'd wash a baby's head. So you put a little bit of baby shampoo, 
inside a jug or a big cup um, and then put some lukewarm water in there and make sure it's all mixed together and then you pour that slowly over your head. Other than that, today was also the day I sent off my first progress pictures of the top and back of my head to the British Hair Clinic. Um, they said they were really happy with the progress so far. I'll show um, some pictures on screen um, whilst I'm talking now just so you can kind of see how that progress has gone up to this point. Obviously you can see it a little bit but I'll put some proper pictures on there. Also, you might be able to see the swelling's gone down drastically. I look almost normal again. I'm sleeping a lot better now as well. Um, first couple of nights were dreadful for sleep, but now I'm almost sleeping completely normally, getting a fair amount of good, good amount of sleep. I'm on my last couple of days of antibiotics. My next see you, I imagine it'll be when the scabs start coming off. Day nine today. I didn't really need to do an update video, um, but I just wanted to kind of let you know how my last few days have been since I haven't done an update since I first started washing my hair, I don't think. So, as you can see, the majority of the scabs are kind of going now. It looks completely different to how it did even a couple of days ago. Um, the back of the head, I'll put some photos on the screen, but the back of the head looks pretty much fine. Um, I'm sleeping so much better. But the main update to tell you about is that I've actually been leaving the house. Not really been getting any weird looks, which was my main worry that people would stare. There was nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, this this is kind of it now. The next update will be when these um, scabs start falling off. There is a potential chance that these hairs start to disappear and it might even look as it did when it first started. But over the months where it starts to grow back, um, it should come through nicely. <laughs> This is it, we are pretty much at the end of the whole process now. Um, it's day 14, we are through the whole recovery, really. I've been living life fairly normally for the last few days, still sticking to what um, I've been told I'm allowed to do. I can now go back to exercising, I can go back to wearing hats if I want to. Um, I'm wearing normal clothes. I did everything to an absolute T, um, but you can see there the hairline is absolutely ridiculous compared to how it started. So at the moment I'm really happy. Um, the shedding process has started a little bit. I've seen um, a fair amount of hairs um, knocking around, falling out when I've been um, showering and just um, throughout the day I have like kind of, if I, if I touch it I can sometimes occasionally see the odd hair, but I have been warned of that. So shedding is a process that can happen over the next couple of weeks. It's essentially where the new hairs can fall out and um, yes, of course it can be very worrying, but I'm told it's normal and over the next few months where those new hairs disappear from. The graft is obviously still in the hair, so it's not a worry because it is gonna grow through, but it's probably gonna be about four, four months until we start to see some real progress and then over the next year to year and a half, it's gonna be perfect. I need to send my final progress photos through to the clinic and um, hopefully they'll be happy with what they can see as well. So the next time I see you guys in something like this will be an update video in six months to a year's time. But other than that, I hope I've given you all the information you need. I thank the British Hair Clinic again. Again, they haven't asked me to do this vlog, but I wanted the whole process to be um, um, detailed and hopefully I've been able to do that for you guys. But yeah, British Hair Clinic have been incredible for me. You can book in for free consultations. Um, so there's kind of no reason not to at least do that. You haven't got to pay for anything to speak to someone who really knows what they're talking about. But other than that, I guess this is it. I'll see you in a few months time and hopefully I'll be, I'll be sporting a quiff again. See you later, thanks for watching.